Mark, what do you feel like? Uh, a lot of talks about the offensive line is taking the next steps. What, what do you feel like y'all have done to take the next steps, and, and why do you think y'all will be better this year? I think uh, practice. I think we've really been uh, practicing really hard. You know, we've had some goals that we've set, like running to the ball after the play and make sure we stay in our blocks. You know, just practice habits. You know, it helps prepare us for the game. A little, a little more attention to detail. Is mm -hmm. that kind of what you're saying? Yes, sir. You feel more comfortable at center than guard, or what's the situation? I, I feel comfortable at both. I like guard, but I do like center because, you know, I get to control the line and I get to tell everyone, everyone where to go. And, you know, I also know, like, the playbook. We're very well at center, so it helps both at guard and center. Could I be seen from Connor and how you been? Uh, I think Connor has been really great. You know, he's also been taking that leadership role very well. You know, we had uh, we have team meetings, and he tells us about his history, and we really get the bond with not only Connor but the whole whole team. So it's really been helpful. So you feel like more of a leader at center than guard, since you said you have to do more down position. Uh, yes, sir. Guys, I think at, guard, at center, you know, you gotta you gotta read the defense, and you gotta tell you know the person to your right who you're coming with. But at guard, you know, you're kind of just move from point A to point B. So that's what I think. How, how nice is it to have a guy like Chase Pesanti who can play you know kind of anywhere along the line, but have his strength as well on that line? I think it's really great because you know he makes it really he makes my job pretty much easy. You know, because I mean he's a strong dude, so. When when he's when he put his hands on whoever's in front of him, you know, stuff gets going. There's a lot of competition along that offensive line. How's that elevated play through the first few practices for you guys? I think uh, competition has been really good. I think it's healthy competition. You know, everyone's not everyone's uncomfortable right now. You know, there's someone behind him that just wants to play that spot. So I think not only is it good, but it's also beneficial for all of us. You know, knowing that we have to get better in in order for the person behind us not to catch up. As Chase and stuff, what is, you know, you're playing multiple positions. What what does it take to be able to play multiple positions on the offensive line, especially kind of coming from the outside back to the short to the inside? I mean, when you go outside, there's a lot of speed, and you got to be really good in space. But when you're more inside, you know, everything's more closed up. So I think, you know, the better you are in space, you know, the more successful you are going to be inside playing guard. Since you're a second quarterback, basically, at center, what's the difference in Coach Klein's offense and what's the difference between his offense and quarterback? Uh, you know, I get to, he helps me, uh, well, Coach Cushion helps me read the safeties, you know, and basically I get to read everything and make my, my, my calls to help us, you know, move the ball efficiently and protect the quarterback better. Mark, I'm, I'm natural it's snapping to you, and, and how much has that been in my first time snapping was my freshman year, and that was my first time ever playing center. But now, since I've been practicing at center, you know, I'll have probably like two bad off snaps per practice. But, you know, the goal is to always have zero bad snaps. So as the year grows, as more practices goes, you know, I'll probably get better. What's the difference with Coach Klein's offense versus like last year? What's going to change? Coach Klein's offense is an offense. I feel like the tempo has changed a lot. You know, Coach Klein's offense, you know, we got to get to the ball and be more faster and more efficient. I think last year's offense, we weren't really more uh, fast off the ball. So it really just slowed us down and, you know, we weren't able to finish in the fourth quarter. Makes a lot of pressure to get up the ball quicker, doesn't it? Yes, sir. It seems like in practice, y'all spread the drills more. They have the defense kind of more on the megaphone. How much do you enjoy that and how much does that maybe help? This well, that's that's for defense, for the effort stuff. So when I get it, when I hear someone some D line saying uh, getting called out, you know, I kind of kind of smile and I laugh at them. Mark, last year sometimes uh, A&M had some trouble picking up short yard situations to the point that eventually they put Diamond back there to score touchdowns against LSU. So uh, why is it going to be different this year? I mean, we got two great guards. We got Armaje, who got experience, and we got Chase Besantis, who's just a powerhouse. So I think if we got those two inside, you know, I think we can move the ball on anyone. So when Bryce Foster was leaving, did you say, OK, hey, this center job is probably going to be mine, or how did you treat that moving forward? Did you say, OK? Well, I just thought about it as a, another opportunity to play football. So when I saw that all the space open up, you know, we also have Cam, Dewberry, and TJ at the back. You know, they both play center and guard. So, you know, whoever whoever takes up spot first will play against Notre Dame. What do you think about the, you know, the, your personal evaluation on the guys that uh, you're competing against this 
I mean, it's it's tough, you know. Cam Dubair is also very smart, and you got TJ who's super athletic. You know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a great battle this fall camp, and hopefully the next practices that go on. Of course, it, it motivates me because you know Coley has more experience at center than me, so you know and it just motivates me to get better every day, take practice seriously, and hopefully just not slack off and just get better. So when you open against a program like Notre Dame, does that help in terms of? I know you're going to be focused anyway in camp, mm. but does that help in camp to say, hey, our first game is Notre Dame and not? Was last year. Yeah, yes, sir. I think it, it helps a lot because you know it helps us the standard for us, like what we can achieve if we can beat a. What do you know what they ranked at? Yeah, five to seven round. Basically. You know, it helps us. You know, tells everyone that you know Texas A and M is not a program to be played with. You know, and, and after that, you know, we're just going to treat every team seriously and hopefully win a Natty or SC championship. All right. Thank you, Mark. All right. Thank you. Thank you.